Hey Pisces, welcome to February 2018. I hope you guys survived your January uh, 2018. Really quickly wanted to talk to you guys. Look who just popped out again. It's that old fire sign. Okay, so I guess January 2018 didn't really clear um, up, which is good because like I mentioned in the last video, 2018 is really all about relationships, you know, and, and there's going to be a lot of sensitivity, a lot of inspiration as well. This is really a year where we're able to get clear about what we want and what's going to make us happy. Um, and it's kind of trying to work with others while also being selfish. It's that double one energy. So one is all about being number one, right? But then when you add one and one together, you get a two. <laughs> so, and that's all about, you know, what's best for two people. So it really has been quite the difficult um, adjustment, especially because last year was all about me first energy. Um, but yeah, a couple cards already popped out. So we have that, that old fire sign the happy-go-lucky one, the optimistic one, but also kind of stubborn, kind of somebody who drags their heels a little bit um, and can be kind of like there's some shadow of a doubt there with that person. But it, it is time definitely that you guys are realizing to move on, realizing that that ship has sailed, realizing that it's there's just so much spilt milk, you know, there's just so much spilt blood, so much bad blood. And it was fun focusing on that. And that's another thing with the 11 energy of of uh, 2018 is that it kind of feels good to get lost in that depth and that darkness, right? And especially as a Pisces, you guys can handle that. You guys can handle the dark, deep, uh, <laughs> you know, of, of emotional wealth because you guys rule the 12th house of the unseen world and kind of our unconscious mind and the collective unconscious as well. So although it kind of felt good to be still connected to that person, um, even through the pain, it is definitely time to realize that with moving on, you actually strengthen uh, what you still have because you still have not as much as you lost through this, through this fire sign, not as much as you lost, um, but you still have quite a bit and you can still move on and strengthen and build yourself back up stronger, happier, more positively. Um, it's just really focusing on just that sliver of white light, of, of optimism, of positivity, that light at the end of the tunnel. It's always smallest when we're the furthest away, but it will grow. It will grow if you just keep moving forward. That being said, Pisces, um, what just passed, well, what's passing right now on January 31st is a super, super blood... Why, why can't I get this right? Super blue full moon. <laughs> so what that means is last August 21st, 2017, the feelings and emotions that were coming up around that time during that lunar eclipse um, in Leo, that's coming brought back up now to be completed and to finally be cleared. So it's in Leo. It's going to be a lot of pride, um, ego things, uh, children, uh, whether you want kids, you know, creativity, fun, uh, also a lot of stubbornness because Leos are a fixed sign, but also energy, right? So stubbornness and also energy to move forward and, and being stubborn about which energy you want to move forward with. So a lot of that stuff is being brought up to be cleared and to be healed. Childhood issues, when I said children, a lot of the times that is childhood issues. Like for me, like I was bringing up stuff where I'm like, oh my God. I totally forgot about that from when I was a kid. And that is why I this. Like it really is going to be incredibly transformative if you flow through it. Um, don't shut down. Do not shut down. Flow through it and really bring it up to be cleared and healed once and for all. Because we have this incredible energy to make a huge, huge shift. And once we make that shift, imagine us all making that shift at once. Like that is going to be profound <laughs> you know that's gonna be a huge shift for everyone so work through it i urge you like for the highest good of all concerned work through it don't be afraid of it put the ego in check like a lot of the times this is going to be bringing up stuff when it comes to our pride and and uh, our confidence but just flow through it like you have no idea how hard it was for me to uh post these videos because i was or to even record them because my ego was like i'm scared i don't want to be looked at you know like it really is a leo uh type month especially um around this time so pisces the cards that popped out was the one that is face down so one that you haven't acknowledged yet 
is giving, <laughs> overly giving. Um, it's what Pisces do. It, it is really what they do. Um, the only problem I find with the Pisces is that what I've learned through astrology is my, my astrology teacher would always drill in the fact that Pisces have a victim mentality. So they'll give, 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 and they kind of act like this martyr where it's like, don't, you don't have to give that much, you know, <laughs> but you feel obligated to give, 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 to pour out your heart and your soul, um, and to bleed for the people that you care about, but it just doesn't get, uh, reciprocated. It just can't, it doesn't even resonate for a lot of, uh, people in our society as well, because, you know, we live in a pretty selfish society, right? Where people are so inward, you know, with social media and with uh, television um, and music these days, it really is more of an, uh, uh, a me first attitude. So when a Pisces comes along and is like, here, take my heart, take my soul, people are like, okay. <laughs> and they don't give anything back. And I think that that's, that's one of the reasons why Pisces, you're feeling this need to kind of retreat and to kind of uh, do your own thing and just be in solitude, which there's, absolutely no harm in that Pisces rule like I said the 12th house which is also about solitude and isolation you just want to be careful because there is a difference between being alone and and being lonely right um the theme of this reading Pisces is a relationship of course <laughs> that's pretty much what the theme is going to be for this entire year because that's what 2018 is all about is relationships um relationships, where this relationship is going, having a lot of history with this person, a little bit of a rocky past, you made some sort of promise with this person, like you made some sort of, some sort of connection. It may not have been verbal. It may not even been witnessed, but it was definitely felt. It was incredibly felt. There's, you guys fought for this. You guys really fought for this connection. Um, and even though it was such a rocky past and created a, a depth of emotion and, and a well of emotions, that's kind of the reason why you're so connected to this person. But you are starting to think about finally letting go, making that sacrifice and, and kind of being okay with letting go. Being like, okay, you know what? Like, it is time for me to just release myself. I have these new feelings coming in where I just want to be positive. I'm so sick and tired of not being able to sleep, of not being comfortable. Just want to be positive. So I'm going to do some alone time, making sure that it doesn't turn negative because this alone time, um, if it turns negative, you're manifesting from that place and it will affect uh, the way you think and your ideas and thoughts when it comes to family and reputation, um, and would probably cause some confusion with your partner, um, about what an emotionally happy family is, especially when it comes to this soulmate relationship and feeling kind of powerless. Okay. So that's the theme of this reading Pisces. I'm just going to quickly, uh, roll call it again feeling like in a relationship, not knowing where you're going, but knowing that there's a ton of emotion backing you up. There's so much strength emotionally backing you up, but realizing that, you know, it is time to let go because new feelings are coming in where you just want to be positive. You want to forget the sleepless nights. You just want to, you know, have your star energy, just kind of do what you need to do wanting to spend some time alone for sure in order to get to that place of happiness, like maybe thinking that this relationship just, you know, that, that alone time will make you happy, that alone time will recharge you in a positive way. But if that alone time, you know, if you, if you decide that this relationship needs alone time in order for you to find you're happy again, and so you end this relationship or you separate yourself from this relationship by cutting cords or whatever you need to do, um, and you spend this alone time, you just get negative, you're going to be manifesting out. You're going to be manifesting out from that negative space. So you want to make sure that if you are going to be making this decision, um, it's coming from a positive place because you're manifesting out, which will completely change your ideas and your thoughts surrounding what a family means to you. And whether that means financially set, you know, I, I seem to find a lot of the times in the readings that I do, people either have parents who financially took care of them, but emotionally, you know, they were soul broke or they had a family that they had the most loving, supportive family, but they were miserable because they didn't have enough money. So it's like trying to figure out that line. Do I want a family? Do I need a family that has a lot of money? Or do I need a family that has, you know, a lot of love and trying to figure out, you know, how to maneuver that. 
and also realizing your reputation when it comes to this new relationship um, or this current relationship that you're in with the with the Knight of Pentacles. So somebody who works hard and has beautiful hair and chiseled features <laughs> um, and a very, very uh, loving. This person's very loving, like the green. Um, I always think of green and, and unconditional love like this person either love something or someone unconditionally, or you feel like they could love you unconditionally. Um, some confusion there over, you know, maybe this person is in your life showing you we, we have all the power and finances that we need so that we can start a family based on an emotional happiness instead of what you've been taught, which is a financial happiness when it comes to family. And this person just kind of confusing you a bit, being like, but I thought that we needed, I thought that all we needed was money to be happy, you know? And it's really, it's really changing how you're viewing life on a soul level. And that's what a soulmate does. That's what a soulmate does. It, it they come into your life to kind of re rewrite your story and just kind of get your soul back on track. Okay, so that's the theme. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Okay, so Queen of Wands is here. Somebody who's really manipulating, calling the shots. This person's older than you, female energy, has some kids behind her. One of them is not as close as she would anticipate. So there's some sort of distance there. That one person was consumed by the dark side, consumed by a uh, shadow. So either estranged or, or something like that. But this queen of swords person, very manipulative, very pointy of fingery, <laughs> like very, you do this, you do that. And it's only because they've gone through so many incredible transformations. They've had to literally burn themselves um, and rise like a phoenix from the ashes they've literally had to come through a lot of uh wrestle and tussle and they they're still working they're still ironing out their flaws which is why it's so frustrating for you as a Pisces because you're you can sense these things in people you can sense their unhappiness so for somebody to come to you and say you have to do it like this and you're like well you don't have anything uh that I want so why would I take your advice can be kind of frustrating but it's because of this person's um influence on your life obstacle and the aid when it comes to this person is that judgment you know, this is either coming from a karmic debt or a karmic past where you feel like you need to listen to this queen of swords, even though they don't have the life that you want, but they're so quick to tell you what you should or should not do. Um, it's coming from a past life karmic thing where they feel entitled to judge and criticize your life. And it's just it's not good because subconsciously you just want to have fun. Subconsciously you're like, come on, just I want to be positive. I want to enjoy myself. Um, I want to, you know, bask in my abundance. I want to do what I need to do. Um, but you are thinking that something is missing from your home. Something's missing from the growth that you've been making. And I think it's this queen of swords saying, you still need to do this. Although subconsciously you're like, I, I want to have fun. You're only telling me that I'm missing something in my life. You know, you're, you're only judging me. You right now looking really good, Pisces, you know, top of your game, definitely getting your finances in order, 100% really growing, really showing a lot of growth, um, really showing a lot of confidence as well. That full moon um, and Leo will really bring you to a different level when it comes to your confidence and also how people view you um, and how confident they feel when it comes to you as well. Like people are feeling more like they can trust and rely on you. They're feeling more confident in who you are as a person. So that is good. And that's based on something that you've created recently. You're nurturing. Um, you either started a new relationship or started a new career or started a new attitude, like where it's a more nurturing and creative person, which also has affected the queen of swords as well. Of course, I think that's why the queen of swords is, is starting to do a lot more finger pointing and a lot more manipulating and pulling of the strings and a lot more judgment. It's because they see how much you're advancing and how much you're growing. And a lot of the times when people don't have what you want, they put it down because it just reminds them that they're not living their best life. And that's really the hardest thing I've noticed. But the more positive that you remain, um, people will start to slowly dissipate from your life. Um, and I know that that might sound pretty brutal, but it actually is in the best interest of everyone involved because they're either going to lift themselves up to stay in your life or they're going to naturally move away where it doesn't feel like it's like, you know, you're not, you're not hurt about it because it's not a severing. It's not like a breakup. It's just a natural 
divide where they're still kind of close, but they're distant enough where you can protect your energy. It's family and friends doing well. There's somebody here uh, who's just really confident, really, you know, really powerful, um, has everything figured out kind of like at the end of their either end of their schooling, end of their career, end of, end of their life type deal, life lessons and life experience where even maybe just mentally, they have kind of that old soul mentality. This person um, is very slow and steady and you're able to go to this person who's in your friend or family um, and that's why you're so empowered. So it is time to thank this person <laughs> for sure. It should have been the first person you thought of. It is time to thank them because they really have built you up in a very beautiful way, but it kind of feels like they're a little bit at odds with this Queen of Swords. So still getting the judgment from the Queen of Swords, but this person in your family and friends... They're doing what, what you need. <laughs> Hope and fear. Pisces is to, you know, kind of fight for what you want. You know, is that you kind of hope and fear for a, a unstable foundation. Um, I don't know if this is maybe a parent. The Queen of Swords could be a parent. Um, and you feel like maybe you need to not be so stable in order to fuel this parent's or uh, maternal figure's um, need to help you. Um, that could definitely be something that makes sense because I don't know why you would feel a hope for instability, but also a fear of instability. Like it's kind of like something teetering on you know, you kind of want to feel like you have to beat them off and beat off all these opportunities and kind of be like, what am I doing? Maybe it's just because it's more fun that way, that uncertainty. <laughs> Last card, Pisces. Yeah, so there's a lot of similarities between you and the Aquarius this month in which you'll be fighting a lot, fighting a lot, competing with other people for changes, competing with other people for freedom, um, competing with other people just to kind of move forward and to leave your mark and to kind of, you know, uh, leave that, that track behind you and just actually walk forward. The first step is to recognize that there is something missing at home. It may kind of feel like, you know, everything's going fine, but there really is something missing. So I think that the queen of swords is on to something, you know, the queen of swords pointing their finger at you and just trying to pull the strings there she's on to something because there's something missing here and once you recognize what is missing then you can make those changes and it's not going to make everybody happy just like I was saying with the Aquarius it's not going to make everybody happy but it is definitely time to make those changes okay I hope that this helps Pisces I hope you guys have an amazing February 2018 um as always you can always reach out for a private reading and we will get to the root of anything that's going on and that includes a full astrology and numerology analysis so I'm looking forward to talking to you guys and I hope you have an amazing February I'll talk to you soon bye Pisces